this is all the short term. We shouldn't be hyper focused on what silver is doing today, what it did yesterday, what it's going to do tomorrow. That's not the bigger picture. It's important to remember what silver and gold are doing today is practically irrelevant to what they're going to do long term. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm having the best day of my life and I hope you are as well. Today I wanted to talk about the spot price of silver climbing up above the $25 mark, which is crazy because just yesterday we saw it creep down to the $23 range. I want to talk about gold being up and I want to talk about which pieces of precious metal I hope to pick up next, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today I want to talk about the spot price of both silver and gold because they're both on the rise, which to be honest with you, I'm slightly surprised. I was expecting to see a dip. We're seeing a lot of uncertainty right now. We still don't know what the election results are going to be. We don't know what this is going to be, what that's going to be. We don't know if this is going to happen. We don't know if that's going to happen. In terms of stimulus, vaccines, lockdowns, and a lot of other things, we have a whole lot on our plates. And to be honest with you, we're kind of being left in the dark for the time being. So... I was under the impression that the uncertainty would begin to build. I thought we were going to see the stock market in the red. I thought we were going to see silver and gold down, but that doesn't seem to be the case. At least not today. Who knows what's going to happen tomorrow or the day after or next week or next month. I'm sure we're going to see quite a bit of volatility, but I thought in the short term we would be in the red. But anyway, silver, as I'm recording today's video, is over 25 dollars again this is up over a dollar from what we were looking at just yesterday because in yesterday's video i talked about how silver was actually slightly below 24 dollars it was i believe 23 dollars and 80 something cents it creeped down below 24 dollars which is what yesterday's video was all about and i was making the assumption that spot price probably wasn't going to be moving very much I thought it was either going to be going down very, very slowly or it wasn't going to be moving much at all. I know a lot of people are liquidating. I know a lot of people are selling off. A lot of people are unsure of what the future holds. And oftentimes when that's the case during massive market uncertainty, people much rather keep cash on hand. So I wasn't really going to be surprised at all if we saw people selling off when it came to the precious metals, when it came to the stocks. That's not what I was planning on doing. I'm holding on for the long term and I intend to do so for the next couple of decades, to be quite honest. But silver, well above $25. And gold, I have Kitco pulled up for gold as well. We're looking at gold about $45 up from where it was 24 hours ago. Gold was up a little bit yesterday. It was above the $1,900 mark. But now we're looking at almost 1950 which caught me off guard, if I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't think that we would be seeing silver and gold both up today. But again, this is all the short term. We shouldn't be hyper-focused on what silver is doing today, what it did yesterday, what it's going to do tomorrow or early next week. That's not the bigger picture. Yes, it's absolutely crucial to pay attention to all of the markets, including the markets you're not involved in, but... It's important to remember what silver and gold are doing today is practically irrelevant to what they're going to do long term. If you are a long term thinker, you got to focus on the long term, not so much the short term, not so much at this very specific point in time. But moving forward, I also wanted to talk about which silver and gold pieces I'm hoping to pick up next. I briefly mentioned this either yesterday's video or the video before that or during one of my live streams. A lot of people have been saying, hey, what's your next pickup going to be? I know that I've been saying for the last two or three weeks that I didn't pick up any silver or gold at all because this was going to be my first time stacking silver and gold during a presidential election. And I know that 45 days before election day, 
is when the uncertainty begins to build. And then one week before is when the peak of uncertainty is. I was very curious what would occur during that time frame. So I wanted to keep my cash on hand in case a surprise opportunity presented itself to me. If we were to see silver drop by several dollars or if we were to see gold drop by, I don't know, 50 to to $100, I wanted to have the cash on hand just in case. But surprise, surprise, not a whole lot happened. It went down a little bit, then it went up to where it was, now it's up a little bit. It's all the short term. But when it comes to the silver, I want an RCM bar, a 10 ounce Royal Canadian Mint silver bar. I'll put a picture up on the screen so everybody knows exactly what I'm talking about. I'm sure most of you know what an RCM bar is, but this is what I've been wanting since before I had any silver bars at all. When I had first started stacking at the very, very end of 2017, I'm talking about mid to late December of 2017, I started out with silver rounds and early into 2018, it was just nothing but silver rounds. I picked up a little teeny tiny piece of gold for diversification purposes, but all I was stacking were silver rounds. And then I switched on over to silver coins instead. And I really didn't have any silver bars until the end of 2018. And that's because I had a pretty decent Black Friday, Cyber Monday deal that I capitalized on for five and 10 ounce silver sunshine bars. So I picked up one of each of those and then throughout 2019, that's all I picked up, silver sunshine bars. And here we are in 2020 and I have a couple other bars. I have a 10 ounce silver bull bar. I have a silver flag bar, which is on screen. I have a Westminster mint bar and a couple other little pieces. But point being is I don't really have too many silver bars and I've been wanting since I started stacking a 10 ounce RCM bar. That was actually supposed to be my very first 10 ounce silver bar. I just happened to get a really good deal on a sunshine bar and I kind of prefer sunshine bars because to be honest with you, I really enjoy the security feature. I like the fact that they have the proof of authenticity on the back. If anybody has a decoder lens like I do, I think in my opinion and from my perspective, that's the superior security feature. Not to say, the RCM bar security feature is anything too shabby. Each bar is serialized, which is excellent. That's incredible. I love that. I appreciate that. I respect that. I want that. But I prefer the proof of authenticity scan on the back. That's just me. At the end of the day, it's all personal preference. Some people like this better, some people like that better. I'm not talking about the design. I'm going by the security feature. But if we're gonna talk about the design, it's a beautiful silver bar and I really wanna get one. So that'll likely be my next silver pickup. But I also wanna talk about my next gold pickup. See, here's where things get a little bit interesting. I haven't talked about it in a little while, but those of you who are in the VIP club, link in the description if anybody wants to join. Privately held live streams, giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts, and commercial free videos. You will know, because I talk about it pretty much every single time I do a VIP club stream. I'm still working on my international Troy ounce of gold. I am 30% of the way there. See, when I first started stacking 10th ounce gold coins, I was only stacking eagles and maples. It wasn't until earlier this year that I decided that I wanted to get 10 different 10th ounce gold coins from 10 different countries. So ever since then, I said, okay, no more gold maples or gold eagles for me of the 10th ounce increment. I'm going to start getting different 10th ounce gold coins from different countries. So last time I picked up that gold Krugerrand right there, the beautiful, beautiful Krugerrand. So I'm technically only 30% of the way there, even though I have more gold than this. When it comes to 10 different coins from 10 different countries, only 30% complete. So my next gold pickup is likely to be... A 10th ounce gold kangaroo. I'm really, really, really eyeballing the gold kangaroo. The year does not matter all too much to me. 
I'm not too worried about any particular design. It doesn't have to be 2020. It doesn't have to be a 2011. It doesn't have to be anything like that. I just want a 10th ounce of gold kangaroo. And I know every time I talk about fractional gold or more specifically 10th ounce pieces of gold, people get all upset because the premiums are a little bit higher than what they would be willing to pay. I consider it to be a security expense. I've gone into why exactly that is in previous videos, so I will not reiterate, but I really want to get a 10th ounce gold kangaroo. And by the way, once I complete the international troy ounce, I'm probably going to be done with 10th ounce gold coins. I think from then on out, I'm just going to pick up quarter ounce and half ounce gold coins. I really like fractional gold. I love fractional gold, but when it's slightly above the 10th ounce increment, such as a quarter ounce gold coin, I really like the way it looks. I'm really, really, really happy with quarter ounce denominations. So who knows, maybe I'll do an international troy ounce made up of four different quarter ounce gold coins from four different countries. Do not know. Point being is it's just something fun that I wanted to do, something fun that I wanted to try. And when it comes to the kangaroo, I've always seen it as a beautiful, beautiful coin, regardless of exactly how it looks. I know with design changes, some people prefer this year over last year or or three years ago versus next year. A lot of people have, you know, their own personal preference, similar to 10 ounce silver bars like I was previously talking about. But generally speaking, I've always been a huge fan of the kangaroo design. I do not have any gold kangaroos, but here is one of my silver kangaroos. I've always loved the way that it looked, but I think a gold kangaroo is calling my name. I already got the silver kangaroo. I think I need to get myself a gold kangaroo. And by the way, here's where things get funny. If I end up going with a different 10th ounce gold coin, that's perfectly fine. There's plenty of other ones on the list of 10th ounce gold coins to get. I do want to get the kangaroo, obviously, but I also want to get a Philharmonica, Britannia, a Libertad, quite a few others, Panda, for example. There's a lot of 10th ounce gold coins on the list. The order in which I acquire them is not that important, to be quite honest. I plan on getting them all anyway. So I'm not lasered in on a 10th ounce gold kangaroo. That's probably what I'm going to get. But I think it's more important to be stacking the gold and the silver regardless, even if it's a repeat. For example, if I see an unbelievable sale on 10th ounce gold maple leaves or gold eagles, two coins that I just said I do not want to get more of, I'm still going to get it because guess what? Gold is gold. I will not say no to an opportunity. The reason I'm doing the International Troy Ounce of Gold is 100% just for fun. Seemed like an interesting idea. I believe I came up with the idea. I've never seen anybody talk about or do that before. It's a concept that I think I created. I could be wrong. But it was just a fun idea that I had. And a lot of people told me that it gave them an idea or it inspired them to begin working on an international troy ounce of gold made up of fractional gold pieces. Some people are ahead of me. Some people may have already completed it. Point being is, it's just for fun. And at the end of the day, if you're not having fun while stacking, what are you even doing? So I think it's pretty important to have a little bit of fun when it comes to the silver and when it comes to the gold. I'm curious, everyone watching right now, obviously silver and gold are both up today as I'm recording today's video, but today is the short term. That is not dictating what silver is going to do over the next couple of weeks, next couple of months, throughout the rest of 2020. It could drop back down a couple dollars. It could go up a couple more dollars. Really don't know. Regardless of what spot price does, what is your next pickup going to be? If you're going to be picking up some new gold, if you're going to be picking up some new silver, what do you have your eyes on right now? 
Maybe you plan on going after some more sunshine bars or maybe you're focused more on the 90% silver rather than pure silver. Maybe you align with a collector's point of view rather than somebody who's stacking. So maybe you're working on a series or a set right now. Maybe you're halfway through or almost done working on a certain type of coin that you've been collecting. Maybe you're stacking for weight, primarily why I'm stacking, but you're having a little bit of fun just getting some random coins from time to time, even if the premium's a little bit higher. Again, because it's a fun thing to do. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to your next pickup when it comes to the precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale. And of course, you can watch all of the YouTube videos commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,500, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, what are your thoughts on silver and gold both being up today? We're seeing silver up above a dollar from where it was 24 hours ago. We're seeing gold up almost $50 from where it was 24 hours ago. I understand that what goes on in the short term isn't all too relevant, but it's definitely something to talk about. What are your thoughts on spot price being up right now? And what is your next precious metal pickup going to be? Are you stacking for weight? Are you pretty satisfied with the amount of silver you've accumulated over the years? And now you're working on some other miscellaneous collector's pieces just for fun or you're focusing a little bit more on gold i personally have been focusing more on gold these last couple of months just because in my opinion i feel as though i'm very very weak on gold so i definitely need to catch up quite a bit but i'm still stacking silver as aggressively as possible i haven't these last couple of weeks but i've kept my cash on hand all of the cash that i would have normally put into silver anyway I still have that with me, so I'm now going to be going after quite a bit of more silver and also hopefully a little piece of gold. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.